Hey, what is up YouTube? Today I have something very special for you and something that I've been pretty excited for and I've been waiting for a while because it only just released in Australia about a week ago. It's the PG-1. Now I've heard so many good things about this online and I cannot wait to put this on my foot and hit the court with it. So I thought I'd do a first impressions today, just looking at the shoe and what I think it would be like for myself on the court. Now the first thing I noticed when trying this on in the store, this thing definitely does run true to size. However, it is my first one booty shoe. So if you take a look here, it was quite a struggle to get on and I won't lie, I was having to grunt, pull the shoe apart, do everything I needed, undo the strap, all of that. But that being said, We've got the nice little tab here, which should make it easier in the future to get the shoe on and off once it loosens up. And like I just mentioned, we do have the strap here. So for extra lockdown and support in the forefoot, and then that's reinforced with some flywire cables. So it'd be quite interesting to see. I don't think I've ever used the strap on the court. So that will be something different. Now, if we take a look at the materials in the shoe, in this particular colorway, we have the suede upper around the midfoot and the rear foot. And I'll tell you what, it is nice and soft and comfortable and it has the new shoe smell. So as you can see, I'm, I'm pretty excited for this shoe. And then we have the mesh upper. Now the thing about this shoe is that it only costs $160. Now in America, that's pretty expensive, but in Australia, that is quite a cheap basketball shoe. And then if you have the Foot Locker app, that's 10% off. So that was about $144 for me. So this shoe really is bang for your buck. It is more of a budget signature line. But with that being said, $160 does get you a lot in this shoe. So we already spoke about the upper materials here and how they were quite comfortable. But if we take a look at the midsole here where the meat of the shoe is, we've got quite a large file on midsole. And once I put this on my foot, it definitely felt more like a running shoe compared to say your Jordan 31 or your KD 10 with the low profile zoom. It was quite thick, quite cushioned for impact protection. And what I also noticed, I mean, it is a new shoe, but it was quite rigid and firm. So, so if you guys have forefoot problems, it may be good in that aspect. And speaking of the forefoot, we have front loaded forefoot air zoom bag right there. So, I mean, for $160, you are getting quite a lot in this shoe. Now, if we take a look at the traction pattern, we've got a multi-directional traction pattern. Now, with that being said, I do think that the traction will work quite well on the court it'll probably just get the job done. However, after playing in my Jordan 31s at the moment, anything will be better than the traction on those. So I think I'll be pretty happy with the traction on these. Now, if we take a look at some of the details on the shoe, you can see we've got the fish scaling here on the strap on this colorway. Now, as you guys know or may not know, Paul George loves to fish, and in some of the other editions of the PG1, we have the fish scales here on the upper of the foot. Now, what also can be said about this shoe, you've also got the 13 on the back, obviously he's PG 13, whether or not he remains to be 13 in OKC is another story. And then we have the PG one logo here. You may or may not be able to see, it does say Nike Zoom here in the forefoot and it is sort of outlined here with the green and the blue coloring on the traction. So what we can also see here, we also have the lateral outrigger here for some lateral support and stability which is a given these days in basketball shoes. Now, once I do my performance review on these, then I'll give these guys a real red hot go to see whether or not they actually do the job. Looking at the laces, it's just the standard laces, nothing special like the KD-10s or in the Nike Hyper Dunk React 2017 where the laces are sort of that thin lacing. Um, some people think that you can get a tighter lace when you have that thinner sort of lace. Um, but that being said, it is sort of a stock standard type of shoe for the most part with the mesh upper. I've also just noticed here we've got 5th of the second 90. Now that might be Paul George's birth date, not 100% sure. So I'm really, really looking forward to playing in these guys. Once I've played in them enough times, I will do a performance review on them. See how they play, see if there's anything where I think it might be beneficial for you guys in terms of injuries. But I guess overall, it looks like a really nice shoe. It felt like a really nice shoe. Like I said, I will do a performance review in the future. So you guys, let me know down in the comments what have your experience has been in the PG1. 
Is there anything I need to look out specifically for? And also be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. It really goes a long way. Let's me know that you guys are actually enjoying the videos. Don't forget to follow me at Pinpoint Podiatry on social media for more helpful tips or even if you just wanna say hey. But I am so excited to play in this shoe. It's Paul George's first shoe. And I mean, there's already news of his second one coming out and I've only just got his first, but I'm really excited to see what the PG line has in store in the future. So thanks for watching this video, guys. It's a little bit more casual today. Let me know if you like these types of videos and I'll be sure to see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching and see you guys soon.